Hey guys, Ruffin Game back today, bringing another video, and finally the Rail LMG has been released here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare today on August 24th, 2021. So we're gonna go ahead and review this weapon, we'll convert it to the MG338, the Six Sour MG338 as part of the NGSW, the Next Generation Squad Weapon System Program. So we'll go ahead and make that conversion, show it off the recoil control, and show it off in game and how it handles in game against those bots. So let's go ahead and back out. Here's one of our final designs. For the Sig Sauer NGSW MG338, firing that 338 Norma Magnum round. So let's go ahead and we'll back out. First off, to unlock this weapon, the unlock criteria for this, if I go back out to my main multiplayer menu, is going to be to get uh, five kills using an LMG, any LMG, with the Scout Combat Optics. So the way I did this is I selected my Holger, and then I went ahead and Basically, just put on this scout combat optic there, switched over to the T-Pose, and then I switched over, I took off the compensator here, and I went ahead with the sleight of hand, and then we'll do the ranger foregrip. This is what I did, this is what I used to get those kills, so you just need five kills with an LMG with a scout combat optic in one game, seven times. So get, get in a game, get those five kills with the LMG with this optic, and then go ahead and back out and do that across seven games and it'll track and you'll be able to unlock it again. I used it with the G36 and I'll shoot the ship playlist. And again, I got it all in seven games. Very easy. Takes maybe 30 minutes to unlock and it works out really, really well. So go ahead and do that and then you can unlock this weapon finally here in Modern Warfare. So we go back to our custom screen and we'll go ahead to the weapon. And what we'll do is we'll strip this thing down and we'll build this up from base. So... Here we go. First off, the muzzle device. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna use that rail monochrome. This is the this is the uh, the actual suppressor that comes from Sig Sauer for these new machine guns. This one is proprietary software of Sig Sauer, to my knowledge. So this is gonna be essentially your monolithic suppressor. This will help with the sound suppression, damage at range, keep you off the mini map. Cons here are gonna be the aim down sight speed and the aim walking steadiness. But you can see their monolithic core provides superior sound suppression and increased range, moderate weight affects agility but if we go ahead and select that you can see the look on this uh it's a very unique looking suppressor that they have in game they didn't just copy and paste any of the other suppressors thankfully and again this is really the proprietary design of six hour that they're using for the mg68 and the mg338 so we'll go ahead and back out our barrel options here we have the 26 inch a 32 inch which is going to be your best in slot and the 25 inch for faster ads speed we're actually going to use the base barrel here and the base barrel seems to be in line with this same length here being 25 inches however in real life the barrel for this weapon is 24 inches uh so the base barrel here coming in at 25 inches same as the trifold light barrel that we have here but you can see the different barrel options here um that you get to be un get unlocked here so we're going to leave the base barrel for this design just to stay true to the real life design. Now for the laser option, we'll go ahead and put that tactical laser or that PEC-15 on there. That's going to mount on that top Picatinny rail. That'll give us the ADS speed, aiming stability, and the aim walking steadiness, with the cons being that the laser is visible to enemies. So we'll select that. Now the optic here, we're going to go ahead. There's a unique optic available for this weapon, that being the Solo Zero K498, four times integral sight. So... We'll go ahead and select this. This is going to give us that four times magnification. It's also going to give us a rangefinder built in on this. And in real life, this optic is based off a of real life design. That being the Vortex AMG UH1 Gen 2 with a flip magnifier here. So same as the four times flip magnifier, except we can't flip this one. It's stuck in the four times. But this is a really, really clean design. And you get the rangefinder on this. So this is going to give us that... Vortex AMG UH1 Gen 2 holographic optic with the three times, or in this case, four times magnif magnifier flipped up. And it's going to give us that range finder also, which you'll see in the gameplay. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that is our only unique uh, design or our unique optic that's available here for this. So we'll go ahead and select Solo Zero K498. Now the stock option we're going to leave at base, but you can see the different options here. We have the resistor, the FTAC, Sandpiper, we have the folded stock option, which in real life, the, the butt stock on this actually does fold, so it's very accurate to real life. This will obviously help your movement speed and aim down sight speed, but you can see the recoil is just going to be out of control on this. This would only be something you would do when uh, moving this thing around and 
convert, carrying it around, so you wouldn't be firing it like this, that's for sure. And then you have the FTAC Elevate, which is going to assist with your ADS speed. So we'll leave the base barrel, or excuse me, the base buttstock, but in real life, this thing would actually fold. However, it doesn't really appear that it would here with this base version, but in real life, this thing does indeed fold to the left-hand side of the weapon. So we'll go ahead and back out. Perks, nothing's, nothing different here. And then for the rear grip, you can see same typical attachments we have. Ammunition, we have the 150 round belt of the 338 Lapua Magnum. So this is actually inaccurately listed here on both of these. It's uh, If we look at the LMG itself, it's uh, going to say, let's go hover over it here. It's going to say the base LMG here says, you can see powerful 338 Norma Magnum. However, the ammo conversions are saying that it's going to give it Lapua Magnum. So that's actually incorrectly listed. Uh, in real life, this fires 338 Magnum, and this is not an ammo conversion. I think they just listed it wrong as Lapua versus Norma Magnum. So it is Norma Magnum. That's what you're getting. But you have a 150 round option as well as a 50 round option, which would be actually a really, really good option here for this weapon because it's going to help your movement speed quite a bit by reducing that weight of the 338 Norma Magnum and reducing your ammo count by 50. So we'll go ahead and leave the base 100 round uh, belt or boxed belt. And then for the underbarrel attachment, for this particular build, we're going to go with the bipod, but you can see the different options here. These are all going to be candid mounted uh, snatch grips. So we'll have the FFS clinch, the PMC grip for recoil control. You have the aiming stability on that one. You have the bipod and then the FS, FFS oblique, which is going to give you the recoil control and the aim down sight speed. So same as the PKM snatch grip, snatch grip cons being the movement speed. So for the purposes of this, we're going to use the bipod because you're not going to be, in real life, you're typically not going to be firing this thing standing up in any air position, but having it mounted on a vehicle or a bipod. So this is what we'll select with this. And then for the reticle option, we're going to leave the base option here. You'll see what this looks like in game. It looks a little bit different and you have that range finder. And then for the camouflages, uh, you can see here, actually look pretty sweet on this thing. You can see how they're unlocked here, at least what, what I have currently. Looks really, really nice. That desert hybrid and the kill brush, kill brush looks really good too. But we're going to go ahead and leave the base weapon camo on this. And that's the final design here. Now, the best in slot, you'll see in the recoil control when we get to it here in a second. This is the one I'm going to be using. This is basically your best in slot option for this. It's the same build we just did, except we're swapping the barrel for the 32 inch. That'll give us that damage at range, bullet velocity, and the recoil control with the cons being the ADS speed and the movement speeds. This is the best in slot barrel. And then we're also going to that's really the only change i think we made here for this weapon is is that's the only difference and then we swapped out the bipod for the ffs oblique which again rico control adsp best in slot grip attachment for this thing because we're going to be running with it uh running and gunning typically not going to be using the bipod and stuff like warzone so this is probably your warzone build again we'll use that same optic this is the final design you'll see the recoil pattern with this when we jump into it here in a minute and uh recoil is very easy to control so if we go up We'll go with the main one you'll see in the gameplay. And again, some interesting facts about this. You have the uh, select fire option here on the right-hand side above the pistol grip. Now, it, the fire controls for this thing are actually completely ambidextrous. Or not the fire controls, but it does have ambidextrous uh, feed tray. Or load. you can load ambidextrously as well as uh, charge and handle can be switched to ambidextrous. So here we have it configured on the right hand side as well so you can load from either left or the right hand side and the charging handle can be configured to the left or the right hand side as well and then the belt box is stuck in what looks like basically a magwell there on the bottom it kind of fits in there and locks in place in this magwell and then obviously you use the belt to feed it in so the belt uh you'll see when we get into the inspect animation you open the tray from the side instead of from the front which is to other lmgs you're opening that from the front or the, i guess the rear of the weapon technically opening it forward uh that seems to get in the way of a lot of tactical devices and things like that so the design here same with the knights armament company designs is to open it from the side that way you're not uh messing up the optics or any tactical devices that you have on top of the feed tray so you can do that now which is nice again it can load from the left or the right hand side and the charging handle can be configured that way as well the buttstock in real life like i said it folds and then you have here's the charging handle you see on the right hand side and then the barrel, so you see the uh, carry handle here. This would be configured. You could actually quick change the barrel if needed. So you would take that charge or the carry handle, uh, basically open up the front of the handguard, and you would twist that up. You could easily just pull it out and swap out the barrel option. 
uh, for a quick change barrel, or you could in real life convert this to a 7.62. So again, you would just swap out the barrel, change the uh, some other parts of the internally, like the, the uh, firing pin, things like that, and you'd be good to go. Actually, I think you would really only need to change out the barrel uh, because it is a belt fit. So you just need to change the barrel option for this and you would be good to go. And, and that's really it to change it to 7.62 by uh, 51 NATO. So that's it for this weapon. Again, looks really, really nice. We covered everything about it. It's a beautiful weapon. Fire is that big 338 Norma Magnum. So let's go ahead now and we'll get into the gameplay for this weapon and see how this thing handles in game against bots. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right into it. So here we are in game. And again, you can see just the weapon inspect here. So you can, you can check the feed tray, which is pretty cool. And uh, check the feed tray from the side. Just going to give it an inspect there as well. And it's cool on the, on the box or the belt box itself. It does say 338 normal Magnum, which is neat. Now you see here, I'm going about 15 meters and just going to let this thing rip. And the recoil of this is just going to be straight vertical essentially. And now here we're going to control it and very easy to control this again, not hard at all. We can keep, you can see the discrepancy here, how different it is versus just letting it rip versus controlling it. And then here we go a little bit of hip fire. And then we'll do the reload animation. So it does fire from an open bolt design. So we'll go ahead and clear the charging handle, open the feed tray, put it in a new box, and then we're good to go. So jump into the gameplay here for this weapon. Uh, just here against bots, not using realism or anything like that. Uh, just so you get a sense of how the damage is in multiplayer. And again, like I said, to unlock this, it was really, really easy. I just used the G36 and I had it unlocked within about a half an hour. So pretty easy to unlock. It's a lot of fun to use. Again, this is a big round. And again, part of the six hour next generation squad weapon program, um, barring the 38 normal Magnum. So there's the MG68, which is the 6.8 by 51 millimeter cartridge being fielded by the assault rifle variants. Also in the NGSW program, like the six hour spear, Textron and general dynamics also have bids for that. That firing the 6.8 by 51. So the MG68 also fires that. 6.8 by 51 millimeter round. And then this particular one, the MG338, firing the 338 normal Magnum. This is an intermediary uh, caliber to bridge the gap between the something like the M240 Lima being the 7.62 by 51 millimeter and the Browning M1 or M2 being the 50 caliber. So this is an intermediary caliber between those two, between 7.62 and the 50 cal. And it's designed again to kind of do what the other weapons can now that being uh mobility for a 50 cal and it can also reach out to further ranges than the m240 lima so the effective range for this is going to be 2000 meters in real life which is extending that range quite a bit over the m240 and the weight is going to be 21.4 pounds so that's going to be lighter than the m240 lima which is big because it's firing a larger caliber uh, now you're going to be carrying a little bit more weight with, based on how much ammo you're carrying. But typically, like I said, you're not going to be, uh, this is going to be deployed within special units and it's mainly going to be more of a vehicle mounted, um, maybe one of these per special squads to be posted up on bipods, things like that. Now it also does have a special recoil mitigation system. So recoil in real life is actually only one pound more of felt recoil than an M4. So. They have a special, they're not, it's not uh, released specifically what they're doing yet since this is still into the trial phases and potentially will be adopted by the U.S. military, but they do have a, mit a recoil mitigation system in there. So the, the felt recoil is one pound more than that of the M4 carbine. And like I said, we do have the ambidextrous options on this for the charger handle as well as the feed tray to load. And you also have the uh, loaded with a feed tray closed option as well. So in real life, uh, instead of opening up the feed tray to load the option or to load the, the belt, the belt itself comes with basically think of like a little tab on the end of the belt and you can just push that through the feed tray, grab it on the other side and pull it all the way through and then you'll be good to go. So you don't even need to open the feed tray. And again, that's specifically made for quick, quick loading uh, when you don't need to open the feed tray. Obviously, sometimes you would want to check the feed tray make sure there's nothing in there, clear the feed tray. But in these cases, you can also quick load just by feeding that tab through and pulling the rounds into the weapon. And you can load it that way as well. And like I said, it also has that quick change barrel and can also be converted to that 7.62 551 NATO, which is the same round that the M240s fire. 
And again, uh, this weapon coming in lighter than the M240, so that would be an, a nice option as well. Now, since we have the MG68, which is at 6.8 6 by 51, and now this being the 338 Nova Magnum, there probably wouldn't be much of a need to swap this to 7.62. Um, so I think they'll probably do away with that if they haven't already. Um, and then, like I said, also the other thing for this is the B-tray opens from the side versus the front in order to make way for tactical devices to not interfere with anything else you have on the top of the Picatinny's, things like that, uh, for optics, all of that. And obviously on this particular version, the optics are pushed a little bit behind the B-tray, um, depending on, obviously, where what rail mount you're putting those on. So that's the MP338. Right now, again, it's still in trial. Hopefully, it seems like at the end of this year, uh, U.S. SOCOM is going to pick which... Uh, manufacturer they want to go with, whether it's Six Hour, General Dynamics, or Textron, and I think it's only General Dynamics and Tex uh, General Dynamics and Six Hour which have a 338 machine gun design. I don't believe Textron does at this point, but uh, should be really interesting to see. This weapon itself is a lot of fun to use in game, and again, they got they basically nailed everything about this correctly. I really didn't see anything wrong with the design of this other than the buttstock they chose in game doesn't look like it's foldable and other than that that's really the only thing that i've noticed that is wrong with this weapon everything else seems to be modeled directly after the real version which is awesome this weapon it's in game looks awesome mobility is pretty good with it even when you're using the uh the heavier barrels and the longer attach long range attachments for warzone build but this thing's a lot of fun to use uh again you can see it just dominates here in game Tons of fun. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and give a thumbs up down below. Turn those notifications on so you guys don't miss a video. Again, this is finally good to get back to our weapon conversion videos for our Modern Warfare content. Something I really, really miss. Uh, so it's always fun when they decide to release these weapons that we've been waiting for. And this is one we've been waiting nearly a year to get our hands on in game. So this is a lot of fun to use. Finally, they, they unlocked it. But also, if you guys want to get a hold of me, my links to my social media are down below. We have Twitter. Instagram as well as the discord link should be down there. Also, you can join up with the community anytime you want to message me uh, You can do that on Instagram or Twitter. I'll go ahead and get back to you guys there Let me know down below what you guys think the rail LMG. Have you unlocked it yet? Are you working on it? What attachments are you gonna be running for this thing? And again, I'll have a warzone video upcoming for this probably with the same build I showed off, but um, We did use it way back in season two when it was ground loot for that rook blueprint which is now also in shop um, but the weapon itself super easy to unlock. You really don't need to buy it. Let me know down below what you guys think. Till next time. This is Buffner Gaming with the SIG 338. Till next time. Buffner Gaming. Out.